So in our simple uh, previous video, we did our simple gear train, and we can see here that our large gear is spinning our small gear twice as fast, and we just set that up using our gear ratio here. So now I'm going to come back to my insert, and I'm going to insert another bearing. And I'm going to insert another one of these large gears. And the same process as before, I'm going to do my revolve. I'm going to choose that center point here, green check mark it. And the next thing that I'm going to do is again, I'm going to position my gears. Uh, like we talked about, oh, I just got to take, close this. The reason we have to do this is I don't have a larger design in which I'm attaching these two with axles or anything else. So we're just kind of floating this. So that's why I have to align my gears in this manner. I'm going to come to my right side. Obviously, if you were building something, you would have taken the time to uh, attach your axles or anything like that. So I'm just going to make sure my gear is aligned right here. Sure. So what we can take a look at now is I have to fix this one right here, that bearing again, because we're just floating in midair. But I'm going to animate that revolve one. And I'm just going to change it to loop. And as we take a look, this gear doesn't spin. And the reason it doesn't spin is we haven't set up a gear relation. So we're going to set up a gear relation between uh, two, Revolute 2, meaning the middle gear, and the uh, third gear. Now, this gear is twice as big. So the gear ratio coming in this direction then becomes 0.5. We're looking at a gear ratio of 1 to 2 instead of 2 to 1. So 1 to 2 here, so that would be 0.5. So now that I set this up, I'm going to revolve my or animate my uh, gear one. And I'm going to speed these up just a little so we can have a little bit more fluid to the motion. And what you can see is the first gear is spinning uh, twice as slow as here, which is spinning this gear uh, the same rate as the first gear because, again, we have a two to one gear ratio coming this way and a one to two gear ratio coming this way. So in essence, if we would think about this, this gear is producing, uh, this is more speed. If this was the drive gear going to this gear, we are producing more torque. So this is just a way, and again, you could add multiple gears to this, and all you have to do is figure out your gear ratio. Uh, and the way you can do that is count the number of teeth on your gear or your drive gear to your driven gear. Uh, or you can do the diameter. The diameter of this one is five to two and a half, so that's a two to one. If this one was five and this one was one, this would be a five to one ratio. So when you would do your gear uh, ratio here, you would put in five. Hope this helps as you're developing gears for your projects.